So normally we would place the biofalls right away in the morning. We would place it and we would bury everything. But because of this situation, you can see our access. So we don't have access from that side of the yard. All access is coming in this way. So we need to keep this section open to drive in and out of while we're placing all of our big boulders inside of the pond as well as this waterfall area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the pond. Then we're gonna come in, drop in the biofalls and run the plumbing. Again, a little bit backwards, but sometimes you have to make modifications in your normal processes according to the job site. So there's my wife, there's my dog, there's my yard, there's my pond, and there's Brian. is just about complete. What Joe is checking right now is we have a big giant flat slab sitting out uh, that was delivered. So we're cutting in a ledge to accept it. So we're gonna put in this big rock right over here. We've also taken all the soil, piled it up over on this side, over by this, uh, over here by the wall. That big giant slab of concrete came out of this corner over here. There's another one buried underneath there. That one's huge. We couldn't even fudge it, so we ended up leaving it there. So there was clearly at some point um, an old property here. This is an older section. So there could have been a barn back here. There could have been who knows what 50 years or more ago. Logistic challenges here today, typical. And this is what kids do. We got four 18 year olds over there, including my own son. And what are you doing for lunch? Going to Lou Malnati to get a pizza? Yeah. Yeah, tough life. What time did you wake up this morning? Mm -hmm. All right, what we have, we have our standard geotextile material. This, is this stuff right here, this is going underneath the liner. We have our 45 mil EPDM rubber liner, staple in the water feature industry. Guaranteed to last for 20 years. The only thing that will destroy it actually is gonna be UV radiation. We're gonna cover it completely up with another layer of the geotextile. I don't always use this material, especially on residential projects. The reason we're using it is because we got some monster boulders coming in here. So we're gonna be dropping in a bunch of big rocks. The other thing, all that concrete, all that stuff, this is an old construction site, or I shouldn't say old construction site, it's an old neighborhood where there was barns and, and farms and things like that. So there's trash, there's construction debris, there's, there's pieces of rebar, there's old concrete, etc. So this material is going to help increase the load bearing capacity and it's going to create a nice protective barrier between the large rocks and the rubber liner. So this really makes a big difference. I usually use this on more heavy duty projects as well as commercial applications. Waterfall is going to be located up in this section. So right now everything is looking good. We have the first rock strapped up. We are going to drop the first one in this corner and then the second one is going to be that big old slab that we're going to have kind of coming out from this corner. Now normally during our normal construction process I would be putting in all the little smaller rocks down here on the bottom working our way out but because of our access we're going to put in these two first and then we're going to start doing some of that smaller stuff and working our way up towards that waterfall. All right, set the rock.
Yes. This is the pond that we didn't have at Aqualand. Correct. So why is this rock numbered? That was at the base of the waterfall. So it's not mm -hmm. going to be at the base of the waterfall because the waterfall is over here. Well, it is at the base of the waterfall, but it's there's a little gap in it now. <laughs> oh, what a total spin. That's what they call balloon. Oh, it is at the base, just five feet away from the base. So it's not going to look exactly like Brian and Chris built, but maybe it'll look better. We're not it's doing a bomb list. <laughs> yeah, but when you use the waterfall from the oh, water... It was not in the waterfall, so the waterfall came down. This was on the opposite side oh, of the Matthew bomb. Matthew and his friend's destination stone yeah. to stand on. Zach is perfectly for it. pond work done now we are starting to set some of these frame rocks now normally again this is a little bit of a challenge just because of some of the logistics and our access points uh, we're trying to work our way from this corner across so we're actually going to set this and possibly some of that stuff back in there but first we're going to set that rock maybe two down here and then that corner slowly work our way out so we don't landlock ourselves with that machine and cause more problems or challenges later on all right let's go i think that's good right there could you go more to that wall the whole thing that way go that way a little bit So we got that main frame rock, which sets everything. Daniel did a great job kind of marking everything and taking stuff apart. So now what we're doing is just piecing it together. The problem is we're not working in a sandbox. We're working with soil. We have to backfill, we have to cut. So what we have to do now, we have a big pocket back behind that waterfall. So what we need to do now is we're gonna have to fold the liner back this way, throw a bunch of fill soil in. Normally I would say, let's just bring in a half a cubic yard of gravel, but we don't have a half a cubic yard of gravel sitting here. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna backfill with soil, leave it a little bit low, compact it, and then throw just a little bit of gravel in there to make that final adjustment. Which I'm good because I want to actually take some of that dirt down anyway and bring in some topsoil for the plants. For sure. Look at Dawson. Are you wondering why you're in our yard, Dawson? Andre Dawson. <laughs> How you feeling, Daniel? Feeling really good, Craig. How about you, Ed? Well, you took it apart, and now you're putting it back together. Uh, it's been a successful jigsaw puzzle. Good thing I have jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah, I think we, everything looks great. The addition of the pond obviously threw things off a little bit, so we had to improvise. This rock obviously got pushed back a little bit instead of being right here at the base of it. The depth of the water also has kind of thrown things off a little bit, so instead of that being a 24-inch high waterfall, it's going to be more like a 12-inch high waterfall so because of the water level inside of the pond. Frame rocks, all that stuff has fallen into place. Our biggest challenge right now, obviously, is not working in a sandbox, so just working in soil, <laughs> going back and forth, and also access. That machine, we are pushed all the way to the very limit setting these rocks. It's forced us not to set the skimmer. We also did not set the biofalls right away because we knew we were gonna be going back and forth. So now tomorrow, we're gonna be losing time because now we gotta dig a hole, put in the biofalls, we got a trench pipe. Normally, in that normal process, we would have set that and buried it. So it's a little bit backwards, but you gotta improvise sometimes. Overall, super happy, beautiful day. Love being outside, looking forward to tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right.